is a KOCO 5 first alert weather severe weather update. It's currently 1137. I want to give you an update right now on these storms that we have both north and south and east of Oklahoma City. These storms that we're watching right now that are going to be west of Stillwater. These are dropping down to the south here and making a run towards uh, Guthrie right now and eventually coming into southern parts of Logan County and these will make it into Oklahoma City. So there's a bit of wind that's being pushed out right now with this. Uh, you can see it from Langston all the way out towards around Crescent and Indian Springs here. Uh, looking at these storms as they continue to make their way down to the south, they're moving pretty quickly. There's a low chance that they'll be severe worn when they come into places like Edmond, but they're probably going to be a bit noisy here, and they do extend all the way out towards Kingfisher, so they'll make a run towards Piedmont, El Reno here. Other areas of storms that we're watching right now, from Holdenville, Wetumpka, as you make your way down south of Ada. This has some heavy rain with it and severe warnings there as you go out towards Velma. But if you're living in Oklahoma City, especially north sides of the metro, where we haven't had a whole lot of uh, you know, severe weather. A lot of it's been South Metro. We are watching this one. There is an area of, of enhanced winds right now between Langston and east of Guthrie that is dropping down to the south. This zone right here will probably have winds up around 40 miles per hour. I actually believe field meteorologist Michael Armstrong is going to be looking at this right now. Um, let me go out to Michael. Michael, you're up near Guthrie. What do you see with this storm, Michael? Yeah, Damon, we've just got some really, uh, there, there's some low hanging clouds with the leading edge of this. I'm going to switch it over here. I'm just kind of pulled over right now. I'm just going to kind of give you a look at what the storm looks like. Seeing some really intense cloud to ground lightning. You can see the rain starting to come down here just on the east side of Guthrie. And uh, this is looking back to the east now. And then I'm going to come around. This is where I'm seeing a lot of lightning just north of Highway 33 here. Uh, I do think this storm has weakened a lot in its intensity. Um, that looked like there was some bigger hail over to the east, but yeah, there are some. I can still hear the thunder. There is a. It's going to be very noisy for Guthrie, I can assure you. And probably with the way these storms are moving down toward um, kind of the north side of the metro, Edmond over to Arcadia, Luther, um, on over even toward Wellston, probably you're probably going to hear a lot of noise with this storm. Yeah, absolutely. We can hear it there even from your shot there, Michael. So. We've just had what's called like a strong thunderstorm alert just issued for the OKC Metro here with this complex right here for winds around 50 to 55 miles per hour uh, and penny size hail. So the hail sizes, as Michael mentioned, it has weakened a bit. At one point, this was worn for golf balls. And so uh, that's that warning there that you see for Payne County. But this storm is continuing to drop down to the south and it is moving pretty quickly here. So one thing that will be interesting to watch with this storm as it comes in is just uh, you know, the how is it going to interact with the environment that this first round of storms that has already moved out of the metro has left for it? So we'll see if it continues to weaken or not, but it's definitely it's definitely noisy for sure, as you heard Michael mention. And so uh, outflow. Here's your strong winds right here to be this green line now surging down south of Guthrie and it's headed now in the southern Logan County and eventually making a run into northern Oklahoma County from a flood threat. These storms are moving fast enough, so uh, hopefully the uh, the risk for flooding is going to remain pretty low. But given what we've seen so far in the last 24 hours, south sides of OKC, something that we will have to watch. So we'll continue to keep a close eye on this one. Keep it with KOCO 5 News. We'll bring you the first alert.